one of the things that bores my piss is um, about how the, perce this, the perception of the type of work that I do as being shallow and superficial and all about the clothes um, and it isn't so what I wanted to share with you today was a little bit about the, the science side of it. So I work primarily with women, mostly. I do work with men as well. Um, but I, I tend to attract uh, a female audience. Generally, they're business owners and business owners who are feeling in a rut or people who've got to midlife and want to feel more invincible rather than invisible um so they come to me to help for me to help them with things that they're wearing so the enclosed cognition is the science behind the stuff that i do so i talk about dressing for joy i talk about dopamine dressing um and i talk about how clothes can make you feel so that you feel good about yourself but also it's about how others perceive you too so if you think about if you particularly if you are in business you you are conveying messages you are you are giving out messages with how you look all of us do whether we're in business or not you're giving out messages with how you look you you are conveying things little details make a difference so if you are wanting to be see, to be perceived in a particular way, you can manage that perception. You can change what you're doing so that you are perceived in a certain way by using the psychology of colour, by the quality of the clothes that you're wearing, by the style of the clothes that you're wearing and so on and so forth. But also as well, it's about how you perceive yourself. So if you think about... Um, when you've had an outfit, we've all had one that makes us feel really good. You put something on and it makes you feel great and you feel like the bee's knees. Um, then it's about learning what it is about that item that gives you that feeling so that you can do it again on purpose. So that ultimately over time you have a wardrobe full of clothes that make you feel like that. So because when you then um, have that feeling... It's about it, it can change how you see yourself and then how you behave. And then the, the knock on effect of that is that you can convince your brain that you are feeling more confident and you go out and you can slay the day, whatever it is that you're doing. So there's the cognitive boost that you get from wearing clothes that make you feel good. And that is essentially what I help people do. So most people wear 20 percent of the clothes, 80 percent of the time. And that is something that um, you can avoid doing when you have a style recipe and you know what your ingredients need to be to help you feel good in what you're wearing. Then you are less likely to have wardrobe, to have clothes in your wardrobe that you don't wear anymore. Hopefully that makes sense. I can see somebody's watching. Um, <laughs> um, so hopefully that that is making sense. Um but yeah, so the whole term, if you Google enclosed cognition, then you will see that scientific research has been done. Um, there was one particular experiment where they gave people a white coat to wear and got them to do some tasks. Um, half the group, they were told that the white coat was a doctor's coat and the other half were told that it was a painter and decorator's coat. The ones who thought, who believed that they were wearing a doctor's coat actually performed significantly better in the tests because they thought they paid more attention and it gave them um, a bit of a, I don't know, made them feel different about what they were doing. So I want you to have a little think about that um, and think about the, the fact that what you're wearing is sending out messages. What you're wearing is not only sending out messages to other people, but also to yourself and that you can change how you feel and then how you then behave um, because of what you're wearing. And I can help you with working out how you can do that on purpose through my programmes. Um, so if you're not following me already, then follow me over on um, my Instagram, which is Lisa Newport underscore FAB. 
same on TikToks, um, LinkedIn and so on. And maybe sign up for my newsletter. If you go onto my website, lucynewport.com, you can see all my blogs there. There's so much information about all of this stuff that's freely available. And if you like the cut of my jib, book a call with me and we can have a chat about how we can work together further. Bye for now.